Finally, I just kind of dove right in and started to do it and was pretty unsuccessful at the start just because it felt very forced. But eventually, I, I found sort of a way to do it that was very pleasing and I think really effective. So that's kind of how the two things go together. I mean, there is, it feels like there's a lot of magic involved in it because a lot of times the stuff just, it's just sitting in the studio wanting to be put together and then I see it's like a game, one of those card games or some type of game where, you know, you just have to find the things that go together. But also these are things in my world. I pick really specific images that I think are, you know, really great and mean something to me. So already I've narrowed it down to really kind of small sort of world. It's my world. And uh, so these are, you know, little players in my world now that I've kind of created. They, I do feel like they're um, a little, yeah, I'm very, uh, they're a little bit uh, like little Frankensteins almost because I <laughs> put these things, dissimilar things together that shouldn't really work but then do and then create a whole other, uh, a lot of sort of interesting questions and sort of conflicts and interesting combinations and where they work it's really beautiful where they don't work it can be disturbing so I'm just really excited because that's always been a part of my work and to kind of have uh, the sort of joy of paper combined with my love of actually making ceramic pieces it's it's great I'm really in a really good place also because the Halley Ford um, was a huge honor and just really you know makes me feel even more fearless in a way. Um, so it's nice. So thank you, Halley Ford, and uh, every, everyone who had anything to do with that ever in my life. Um, so uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't remember, were you doing these combination kinds of pieces before Berlin? No. Or did you start doing them? It's happened. It started in Berlin. I was in Berlin at about a little over a year ago, and that's when I really pushed it. This piece actually was made in Berlin. I think it's when I look at it, I'm like, yeah, but that's Berlin. Um, <laughs> I mean, the piece is from a German book so uh, that I found there. But just the way, I mean, this piece I particularly love because the way the ruffle kind of works so well with the, the figures, the bust line, the collar line, it just perfectly kind of goes up. I mean, that type of stuff. I did collage. I still do a lot of collage. But when that happens in collage, it just makes you, you know, you just kind of feel completely crazy. I'm just like, oh my God, look at the works. Ah. But then when it happens in sculpture, it's just even more better. So I do feel like a lot of the, it is those sort of lines, formal kind of things uh, that occur in the pieces that help them look, uh, finished isn't the right word, but look like intentional. Like it's not accidental, like these things are supposed to be together, they just got lost through time or something, how and now they're putting them together, so, uh, yeah. So do you do the ceramics and then find the 
images? Well, originally, like I was saying at the first, like, uh, they're all trash. I mean, the ceramic pieces were all just things I didn't like. Before, my work before these was ceramic. Like, but they, you know, there was just something about the figure of this boy that I didn't like. But now with the paper over it, it's just perfect. I mean, it's great. So I'm kind of running out of those little pieces. So I'm going to have to start making the ceramic parts, which I'm, I will see. I mean, I did make the Berlin one. I did make her. So, you know, I made it. No, I made it. And then the, then I made it like right when I got there. And then I was like, you got to try to put the paper together. So she was there. And then I found the book. And then so, yeah. So I didn't make it knowing it would turn into that piece. So I think that's going to be the trick for me, is to just make these things not having any pieces in mind, but just keeping with my, how I make the sculptures, which is to find images that I feel like go beyond themselves, meaning they evoke some emotion or some, something in me. And hopefully that will then transfer to the viewer, but anyway, I find these images and I sketch them, um, and then sometimes I'll then make a sculpture of them, and using usually a lot of high fire uh, techniques to get them very. Uh, these are all high fired, uh, various surfaces on them, which evoke different emotions depending on how they're, you know, how they're fired. And like he's done an assault thing, so he's really messed up. I like I refer to that as my messed up surface whereas she is just black clay she doesn't have any surface but that's you know it's great for that piece so we'll see what happens now that i've run out of bad pieces i can save it's like but they're great i love that i save them i love that you know these pieces that i that were almost good enough now they have new life and they're yeah they're quite what happy strikes me yeah. about these uh, particularly because behind you is this Great yeah, it's color. beautiful. Yeah. Is your piece, apart from the lips on the knee? Oh, yeah, there's paper, not much color, huh? Come well, on. it's black and white and yeah. shades of gray. And yeah. I wonder if that's conscious well, decision on your part? Or? Um, no, I mean, I think part of the dominance of the black and white is that all of the images that I put on them are black and white. So already we're in the black and white world. But oh, you're okay. right. I mean, besides, he's the most, I'd love, actually, color is the new thing. I mean, I'm really excited to use, get some colorful things going. I have, I, I, my work isn't about color a lot of times, but I do use color. So, and I'm excited to use it more. Um, but I like that observation. I hadn't really seen that, but you're absolutely right. It is rather black and white world there. Uh, but you know, I knew I have, I mean, most of my shows include pieces that have a, quite a wide range of uh, colors and surfaces. So. But in, in general, like the porcelain, you know, she likes to be white, so I leave it white. Yeah, it's beautiful. So. Do you reinforce the paper in any way? Um, yes. Uh, aside from this, the that pe top piece, all of the papers have been, uh, I take them to uh, Kinko's or what used to be Kinko's, and. Uh, Xerox them, copy them onto archival paper, uh, which I think uh, it will definitely helps with the lasting. But I was a little nervous about adding that to my process when I started to do that because I didn't want it to freeze me up. So I, meaning I didn't want to not use a paper because then I'd have to go to Kinko's and print it and blah blah. You know this whole other sort of thing. But actually going to Kinko's and printing it is. It's kind of fun, so it's okay. You know, because sometimes things like that will stop me. I'll be like, well, if I can't put, you know, it's just weird how that could make me not want to do it. But it's been successful, and I think I don't, most people can't tell. So uh, the other thing is I don't want it to look like I copied it, unless some of them, I know, like this one, I want it to look like I copied it. I mean, it's a copy from a book, like the edges are there, you know, whatever. Same with that one. But like that one, I don't, that's got color on the back. I did both sides. It, you know, the original paper is, is cheap and will deteriorate rather quickly. But sometimes I don't, I actually, I mean, Dan has to deal with this as well. I, you know, you don't stop, it wouldn't stop me from using it. I would just have to tell someone who bought it, it's probably going to change. Or whatever. 
not tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was going through the issues of the ethnomality of your paper, yeah. I was wondering you know, if it was reinforced because I could imagine in packing there would be issues and in. You know, yeah, I don't know. And who the packed these, these, but <laughs> they did a good job. Yeah, yeah I have I had I did have to pack some recently, similar to these, and it's hard. I mean, I, I, it is. They're, they're, I'm, they, these made it down great. I'm not sure how they can, how, what the crates look like. I'd be curious. Um, paper is surprisingly uh, strong, though. I mean, but you're right, because you, you, it, it is. The, but I like, a part of the, what I like is because paper is fragile, it's kind of this great combination when I combine it with ceramics that isn't. So part of the fragility of paper, I like. You know, I want you to feel like, uh, you know, that it's the stuff is fragile. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm encouraged to ask this question because of the Berlin thing. Yeah. Um, when I first saw these, I was really struck by, um, they reminded me of um, Dada and Hannah Hoge specifically right. and the, that tradition of yep. photo montage. I was yep. wondering if that was... Yeah, it's a favorite one. one so. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I went to Berlin because I love those artists. Yeah. I was in Berlin and made work that looks like those artists, sort of. I mean, you can't help it when you're there, um, mm -hmm. Berlin. But yeah, I do. I do look at collage and her mm -hmm. specifically. She's pretty great. So I'm glad that that yeah. kind of came out. I mean, especially the Dada is sort of there, sort of. Uh, I don't know. They're very. Uh, I don't know how to put it. I like their attitude towards art. I guess. So I feel like these have that attitude as well, which I love. Yeah. yeah. I think they really embody that spirit of kind of pulling together these discarded right. materials right. in such a fun way. Yeah. 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 I think the artists have agreed to hang around for a few oh, minutes if there's. there's uh, if there are additional questions, or I'm happy to talk about other works in the show one on one. If you have questions in the gallery space, um, if you're interested in picking up an exhibition catalog, those are available at our front desk for $25. And thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you.